Hey, what's up everyone? Today we're gonna to be talking about these two trident maples. It's early spring and these two trees have been sitting right next to each other in my yard. Um, so they're in similar size containers. They are the same species from the same batch of seeds and yet they look very different. And you can see on the new growth on this one, there's already burn, something that looks like burn on the margins of the leaves. And the leaves are kind of curled like a sort of curled in like all the edges are distorted and then on this one we have nice full-size leaves good elongation no stunting lots of good shoots so what's going on here uh that question has been bothering i think a lot of trident maple growers for a while and so about a year ago i sent a seedling that was exhibiting these same symptoms to a lab for analysis and what came back was a diagnosis of a pathogen called Foma, P-H-O-M-A. And this is a fungal infection that uh, gets into tridents among other species. And it's not usually fatal to the plants, but uh, bonsai are more susceptible to it because we're constantly cutting them back and stunting them uh, for purposes of aesthetics. So the, the consequence is that when the tree starts to get weak, um, the symptoms are exacerbated. So uh, being kind of frustrated by the lab's uh, instructions that there's not really any way to cure this. In other words, it, that once the plant is infected, it's infected and you're not going to cure it of the infection. Uh, and the only thing you can do essentially is to get rid of infected plants and grow new ones uh, and prevent them from getting infected by using topical fungicides. Um, so obviously for bonsai purposes, that's not a super great plan because tossing something that you've been working on for six years or 10 years or two years or however long just doesn't feel like quite the right thing to do. So I reached out to a uh, plant pathologist and asked, you know, is there anything that we can do for curative control? And she recommended a combination of two things. One is the same thing that's used for um, prevention and that is daconil. This is chlorothalonil is the, is the active ingredient in this. It's commonly sold as Orthomax uh, garden disease control, but it's also sold in other brands. So using this on a regular basis during the growing season as often as weekly, this is a topical control that will keep uh, FOMA from spreading from one plant to another. And then the second thing was to use a, uh, a second systemic fungicide called pageant. And the ingredients in pageant are uh, kind of interesting and there's a number of there's a number of different brand names, but pageant is sort of the original one. Uh, it's a systemic fungicide that really kind of helps to make plants more robust in their health. So I am going to try that combination on this guy. So there's, there's a couple different things I'm gonna do. One, I'm gonna keep this segregated from anything else that I know is susceptible like this guy. So I'm gonna put my healthy maples in one area of my yard. I'm gonna spray them prophylactically with the, the chlorothalonil spray. And then for the infected maples, I'm gonna keep those segregated and I'm gonna spray, the, spray those as suggested with both the chlorothalonil as well as the pageant intrinsic uh, spray. One thing to note is with this type of infection, I've talked to a number of different people about it. And when the plant gets healthier, in other words, when it becomes more robust in terms of its metabolism, the symptoms will go away. Uh, and, and so you can think that you've sort of caused the disease to, to be cured, but then when the tree gets weak again, you might see a recurrence of those symptoms. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try treating it and I will report back with the results when I get them.